step forward in our office. For the past four and a half years, you've seen Connor Eldridge at the center of investigations involving crimes against kids. Take tips. Human and drug trafficking. Six pounds in a search warrant. Violent crimes and fraud cases. Significant fraudulent conduct in Arkansas and in Northwest Arkansas. As our U.S. Attorney, Eldridge has prosecuted all federal criminal cases in the area. The biggest surprise to me has been the number of people who commit horrible crimes against children. Uh, and I'm really proud that we've got uh, 120 defendants that are no longer walking our streets threatening our kids who will be in prison for a long time uh, because of our work. But Eldridge says prosecution only changes so much. The other component to reversing the cycle of crime is prevention. Just last week, he announced the A Chance program in effect in six Arkansas counties. Anytime police are now called to a child's home for drugs or domestic violence, their schools will know. This program will have police communicating with uh, teachers and principals and counselors to make sure kids in that situation get some help at school with everything that they're going through. When asked why he's stepping away, he says, Kelly, it's just time. It's the right time for me. I've been doing the job for four and a half years and can't last forever, unfortunately. Some speculate that he'll run for senator next, challenging John Bozeman as a Democrat, but he would neither confirm nor deny that. Um, next Friday will be my last day, and, and I'll start uh, digging in and figuring out what I'm going to do next after that. That was the most we could get. Well, the person serving as the first assistant U.S. attorney will step into the job until a permanent replacement is found.